hey guys welcome back to the channel thanks for joining today i am at cromwell valley park with my good friend tom there he is he's the one that told me about this and uh if you recall he's the one that also told me about the uh the castle in lock raven if it wasn't for tom there he is <laughs> I wouldn't have never known about that. He just told me about that earlier this year, but he told me about Cromwell Valley Park and he said, we got to check it out. And he's my guest today. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're walking down this way here and we're going to check out what is over here. Do you know what it is, Tom? Could be a graveyard, oh boy, I've seen my share of graveyards. So it says, historic cemetery, treat area with reverence and respect. So, so who is in here? So here's the entrance and so. so they probably removed the headstones and just put rocks in the place here that they would be damaged. True, I've seen many damaged headstones in my adventures. There's another one back here. I see that, yeah. That's going to play a big part in your story later on. I noticed. <laughs> I saw that. So that tower over there, that is for 105.7 The Fan in Maryland. FM. Now we're going to go see what else is out here. Heading up this way, I'm following a tour guide here. Tom's been here before. I've never been here before. Never been here. It's good to finally check it out. Bird of Prey House, a temporary home to wild turkeys who think. They are birds of prey. All right. Where? Oh yeah, I see them. Please stand back. At least one foot. Turkey will bite. Well, don't have to worry about me. Sticking my hand in there. Keep one turkey vulture of space between you and others, okay? We'll do that. Look at that. Lots of squirrels. And there's the turkey back there. So here we have a house. What do you know about this house, Tom? Oh, it was built in the 1700s and Shanklin and Miss Ann Bosley were married and lived in this house until she died at 37. 37? That's so young. Four kids. Wow. And what is it now? Is it just a... It's a nature center. Okay. Very cool. It's an old wall. old iron gate here so here we have the spring house 
What do you know about that, Tom? The spring house. Over there is Lock Raven Dam. Okay. They tunneled under the ground to Montebello to bring water to the city. And after they tunneled under the spring house, it drove, it made it dry. Eventually, Merrimack, the owner, sued this county and won. Wow. I had no idea. So as you can see, it's very nice out here. And it's a nice day, but it is cold. It's probably about 41, 42 degrees right now. But a very nice day. I actually like this weather. So what do we have here, Tom? Cider house. Okay. Can't really see in it. Here we have the Willow Grove barn. They do have some nice hiking trails here too, which I'm going to come back and do sometime. We're going to do a bit of hiking today. Look at these structures here, still here. Now, what do we have over here? says earth skills classroom and primitive technology okay so it's primitive technology laboratory and earth skills classroom all right now check out this thing over here Almost looks like a teepee. Chicken poop here. Okay. Going over this little wood bridge and check out this structure here. Bathhouse. That's the bathhouse? Where the Merrimack, Merrimack changed his clothes prior. Oh, they changed their clothes in there, they huh? To a dip in the little stream. They would go in this stream? I guess. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I don't think they had built in pools back in there. <laughs> I don't think so. Did they even have pools? That's the question. It's rumored to be an old slave house. Can't get to it? Mm, yeah, I don't think. You know me, I'm always yeah. going in and out of. Yeah, there's a little trail here, Tom. You yeah. follow me this time. Could have come this way, but so these numbers, number six. Wow. Pretty cool. Now inside of it, you can see it is falling apart. It was mold and the floor. I don't trust it, but you can see there's already some damage here. Yeah. Moving right along. All right, so what have we here? That's Long Island. What is it? 
Long Island is the name of the house. This one here in front of us? The, the big one. Oh, the back one. The back okay. I see. It was deeded in 1722 to Stan Stanbury, I believe. And then the Jennifers and the Ruscios held on to it after that for over two centuries. So what is it now? The county tried to purchase it but couldn't have enough funds in 2011. It's owned by a private owner. Private owner, okay. And does the private owner live there? I'm not sure. Okay. What's the structure in front of us? Uh, you know? uh, now, can we get over to that we're house? Go down, right? Oh, we are. All right. We've got a real treat for you, Pete. All right. So, I love treats, Tom. <laughs> so, what else do you know about that house, Tom? Well, the one part in the corner there it looks like a little shed. It was actually okay. the smokehouse. Before what? it was the smokehouse, it was the slave. Well, okay, I they see. They found it. documentation in the house of letting the slaves go free after the Civil War. Wow. They also found a letter in the house. That was written by George Washington, signed by George Washington, after he stayed there one day. Do you know where that letter is? I'm not sure who possesses it now. That's, that's very interesting. Check out that house. It looks like a mansion. And what's to the right of it? Is that a barn? That's barn. Barn, okay. They were farmers. Okay. And here's what their big money was. They what are we on? We're on... This is the kiln, right? The lime kiln. Lime kiln. Now the chimneys are gone. So the Jennifer lime kiln and Ristel. Ruscio. Ru oh, is it Ruscio? Ruscio? Yep. All right. They were married. And here it is. Now we'll go down and get a look from up front. Now we're heading down. Check out the front part of it. And by the way guys, to come here, it's absolutely free. Uh, okay. Very cool. Lots of history here. I mean, look at that. So as you can see, they have a little plaque here. It says the lime kiln bottom has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places. And that was just, what, last year? Wow. So, All limestones. Those are limestones? Yeah. Wow. Shanklin All right. So Shanklin on the king's so, Hey, there you go. I the and the so it's Shanklin kiln. All right. I mean, that is just so incredible. I mean, look at that. Take a peek inside. That is very cool. Lots of history here.
This one is the Russia. Russia kill. That's the shape of this. It definitely looks older. So which one was restored? Was all of this restored here? All of the three that we see. Oh, all of them, restored. okay. They've been restored, okay. Except gotcha. the chimneys. Right, okay. Here's the Jennifer. <laughs> okay. There's an old picture. Gonna check out what's over here. See, there's a closer look at the house. Yep, so this is the Merrick log house right here. It says the original stone and log structure was built sometime between. 1797 and 1805 and probably housed the kiln manager and his family. You think? Got a whole tractor and there's the kiln still there. Trying to get the shadow out of there. Yep. There's William Merrick right there. And Robert Merrick. Yeah, look at that. That's very cool. Here's another look at Long Island. That is a big house. Barn to the right. So, moving right along here, there's a bench, it looks like a little, a little frozen now, but, but, fish and frog pond maybe? Well, there's the life in the pond. Oh, there we go. Okay. The frogs and toads right. of Maryland. Bullfrog, green frog, American toad, wood frog. Frozen over. Frozen toads. There you have a bench. You can just sit and chill when it's warmer out. Maybe check out some of their frogs. Drive trail, and that says mine back trail. Let's follow Tom. So here we are, the top of this hill. You can see there's a bench here, in memory of Kathleen Didi, who loved this view. What view was that? This one. And that is a sycamore tree right there. Look at that view. I don't blame her for wanting to sit here. Oh, look, there's even a plaque. 
Ode to My Sycamore. You can pause this video if you want to read the whole thing. Look at some flowers there. And what were you going to say, Tom? Gee, you ready to go off-road? I'm ready, man. Off-trail? Yeah. Let's do it. All pets, even friendly ones, must be on a leash. Okay. Good to know. So after a big climb up the hill, you can see how high we are. <laughs> and other people were out. Look at the view. Let's walk down here. Check this out. That's the little dam right there, which I vlogged back in the spring. And you can see through the trees. There's the big dam. Better view of the dam here. There's the little one. Wow. What a view. So from this view you can see lots of water going over the dam. Yeah, look at that. So we spotted some deer. There, there's one of them. They're quite far though. As I pan out, you'll be able to see how far away they are. But they're down there. Seeing everything here today. Plus this here, it looks like this was something at one time, not sure. Is that part of a car? <laughs> what is that? Well, part of a tractor. Tractor, okay. But that's heavy. <laughs> As you can see, we're on the other side of that field. There's the sycamore tree we were looking at. And a view. Look at all those homes up there. What a view they have. So we came across this. Part of a tractor or something. There's some type of. It's got a. That's why I came back there and took pictures of it. And there's two. Yeah, it is. Looks like it was used. Maybe, um. I don't know. If you guys know what it is, comment below. So, we have come upon the Balancing Reservoir. And there it is, right there. There's a pic of what it looked like back in the day. size of tunnel
So how cool is that? So they have this poem right out in front of it and I think it's great. It says, how selfish can you be to spray paint a tree that has seen many more years than you or any of your peers? To think that it is your right to mar an historical site that was preserved by volunteers that try to help in their older years. Please sit down and take off a load. Enjoy the sights of the woods, humble abode. Help preserve the park for others to be free with the eyes of a child, you will see. January 2018. Yeah, I hate seeing the graffiti on structures and trees or whatever. It just ruins it. Oh yeah, why, how open it is. It's like uh, a little reservoir in here. Yep, and no water in sight. Some deer. There's a lot of them. All right, guys, that's going to do it for us today. I want to thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed checking out Cromwell Valley Park. I want to thank Tom. Hey, glad to be here, Pete. You had a good time. Glad you had a good time. Thanks for uh, telling me about this. I, uh, as long as I've lived around here, I've never come here, but I will be back. You guys should check it out too. Again, it doesn't cost a dime to get in here. It's free. We're here on December 30th. One more day left in the year. It's a chilly day, but a lot of people are out. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. In the meantime, stay safe, take care of each other. Peace and love. See ya.